Hello everybody, it's Mario here. Welcome to my channel if you are here for the first time and welcome back to the rest of you. If you are new here, I just do doll reviews and I talk a lot and <laughs> make sure you are subscribed if you like that kind of stuff. Also, um, follow me on Instagram. That is where I'm most active and I post movie news and doll news and collector stuff and all that good stuff. So, as most of you know, I already did my review for Esmeralda. And I only did that one because she's the only one that arrived. And I actually ordered doubles of everyone. So, you know, this year we got Megara, Esmeralda, Wendy, Alice. It's pretty cool and rare to get these characters. And I'm so happy that Disney's listening, you know. Doll creators and designers, they follow us all on Instagram. They see our comments. And I think that's why we finally got these dolls. Of course, this is the first time ever that Disney makes a Megara doll. Now, they did one last year for um, the designer line, and they used that face mode and gave us a cheaper version, which is the classic one. Now, there are um, Meg dolls that exist, of course, but those were made by Mattel back in the 90s. So this is really the first time ever that Disney Store makes a Mega a Classic doll, which is so exciting. Uh, so since now all of my dolls are here, I have my two Megs, one to take out of the box and one to keep in box. And as you can see, the hair difference is kind of shocking, right? The one in box has perfect hair and thicker. That's why I'm keeping her in the box. And we'll take the other one out. Of course, in this video, I will also do towards the end, a quick comparison with the designer doll. So you can see the makeup and the hair and all of that. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So now we're taking a look at the box and it's the same classic doll box for all the new dolls this year for 2020. She has a yellow background that goes really good with the purple. Then it says Hercules and Megara. And then we have just a drawing there of Hercules. Other princesses have their castle. So in this case, they're getting creative for the non-princess ones, right? And then we have a sketch of Meg and she looks awesome. On the other side, we have some little details from the movie and Pegasus, really nice. And on the back of the box, we, we have the same logo for Hercules. It says Megara, classic doll, Pegasus, and a picture of Meg drying out her hair. And she looks fabulous, as always, of course. And on the bottom, we have the little silhouettes of Meg and Hercules with the retail price, which is $16.99. So here she is, um, you know, without the plastic and the glare, you can kind of see the way that she is displayed on the box. Of course, this is the extra one that I have to the box. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Magically, she's out of the box. And of course, um, she's not able to stand on her own. So I have her with one of the designer doll stands. Just kind of, just leaning on it, really. <laughs> uh, just to do this quick little uh, see-through video. Next up, we are taking a closer look at her face. And as I said earlier, this is the same face mold from the designer doll and I'll compare them later on towards the end of this video. Now, as you see, she has her purple eyeshadow, purple eyes. Her lips look red on camera, but in person, they're more like uh, burgundy color. And she does have her signature weird looking eyebrows that we love. You know, she has a very uh, different face from all the other animated girls. And I think she looks awesome. As you can see, she does have a crease right there of plastic, right, to mold um, the eyebrows. And it's inter interesting how they use the paint for both the designer and this version. And again, you'll see that later. Now, when it comes to the hair, um, it's of course more simple, a lot less hair, but as you saw with my um, inbox doll, they all kind of have different volumes of hair. And yeah, I guess it's just some of them have more hair than the others. I don't know. The way that it's styled, it does have a lot of gel to give it that shape, which I do love, so no complaints there. If you wash her hair, I'm sure that it will look fuller. Maybe the one in the box just looks fuller because it has less gel who knows now she does have the bangs um, the big bang to the side and you can make the little curls on the on the side of her ears if you wanted to i've seen a lot of people customize her already so you could do that too it's a classic doll so you can buy as many as you want <laughs> she does have a rubber band holding the hair together and she has this little piece with velcro which i appreciate i'm glad they included it it adds a little um nice touch yeah, the hair is very soft. You can tell once you watch it that it's great. Now, when it comes to the outfit, it's very simple. It's all just one dress, one piece, and it does have a lot of glitter. Unfortunately, I'm not a fan of glitter. I have seen some people have been able to remove it with acetone, but I don't know much about that. If you do, let me know and I'll share it for another video that I do. Uh, but yeah, some people have been able to remove the glitter. Apparently, you just dip it 
in acetone. I don't know how safe that is. So I'm not recommending it until I hear one of you tell me officially how to do it. <laughs> As you can see, there's just a little extra piece of material here trying to capture the look from the movie. You know, it's not 100% accurate, but it's pretty good. Now that first uh, purple band doesn't go all the way across, but of course the belt does. And it has a little plastic right there with the little symbol that, you know, we see in the movie. It's attached to her, which is great. So it doesn't like fall out, you know, fall off or go up too high or anything like that. The dress overall is great. You know, I would like a softer fabric, but other than that, I really don't have much of a problem with it. The articulation I love, it's the same one that they've been using for the designer dolls, where the hands are able to go up just a little bit more. When you take the dress off, you can see that she has um, this print in the back of where the doll was made and all of that. And you can see that her underwear is purple to match the dress. I'm not gonna take it completely off because really there's not much to it. A lot of glitter comes off on your hands. <laughs> she has the rubber legs and she does have the flat feet, although in this case, it doesn't matter because she does have the sandals, which are very nice. They're just plastic brown. And I'm glad that she's wearing shoes. Obviously, they're just very simple. And yeah, that's all with the shoes. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. So here we have our new classic Megara doll next to the designer version released in 2019 as part of the designer masquerade collection and as you can see the designer doll just has an inspired outfit it's they're completely not the same in terms of quality and all of that of course now when it comes to the face it's the same face mold it's just that the designer version has darker eyebrows darker eyeshadow uh, rooted lashes her lips are a little bit lighter and the classic one is really just a simpler version of that with darker lips and simple eyeshadow <laughs> now i actually do like the eyeshadow on the classic doll more the other one is a bit too much. I wish it was a little bit lighter. I mean, obviously they're both beautiful. They both capture her perfectly well. Um, it's just a glamorized, more makeup version, basically. <laughs> um, but yeah, the hair is totally different. I mean, the volume, the texture, the color is slightly, eh, I guess the color, the color is the same. On camera, it looks a little bit different, but I think it's because the classic one has more gel, you know? Uh, but the designer one serves as a good blueprint on what to do if you wanted to recreate the hairstyle, right? If you have that talent, go for it. I wouldn't even risk it and try it, but that's yeah, definitely something you can capture with just a little bit less hair. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they're both fabulous. So that is all for today. Again, thank you so much for watching. This doll is available on shopdisney.com, on the UK website and many other websites that exist for Disney Store. And you can find it at your local Disney stores if they are open. Again. Stay safe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on my next video. Bye-bye.